I'm Giuseppe Penenna from Enea, in particular from uh, uh, Nanomaterials and Devices Laboratory. Here I will speak about uh, a tool to have an understanding about organic materials and devices, in particular. As you saw before, for example, there are optical tools, but uh, also electrical tools uh, could be important uh, in uh, having an understanding about the limits of this kind uh, of materials. Uh, with the organic materials, you know, we have the possibility to develop a lot of uh, devices, uh, in particular uh, uh, displays, memories, uh, stretchable devices, uh, also to apply to skins and so on. So uh, it uh, starts to be a very important issue. And uh, so uh, the understanding in the limits of this kind of materials and also devices could be very important in the future. Uh, in particular, I will uh, uh, show uh, the limits, uh, electrical limits uh, and the transportation in, uh, in different parts of the devices. I will, be, uh, I will analyze uh, a bit uh, the different junctions, so the metallic organic junctions and uh, organic organic two. And uh, I will analyze this with, uh, by means DC and AC measurements. And then we will see some conclusions about uh, the possible uh, application of this, uh, uh, this kind uh, of measurements uh, to have an understanding the, the different limits. Uh, as, you, as you know, um, to, um, to realize a good device, you have to balance in such a way it, uh, for example, for LED devices, we have to balance well the charge uh, to uh, give them the possibility also to recombine and uh, not give uh, uh, too much holes or electrons or uh, make too much thin the device. And so there, uh, there should be an escape uh, of one or, uh, or uh, the other. So, and so you have to uh, balance well everything and uh, put uh, different layers no? to inject, to control, uh, the, 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 the mobility and so on. So uh, it is a, a very important uh, issue to, uh, to understand when you realize the device. And so you have also to understand uh, in a good way uh, all uh, the, um, the different in interfaces. In particular, for example, for metal semiconductor uh, interface, as uh, everybody knows, uh, the, the there, are, there is an important level that is uh, the Fermi level. When you put together the two, uh, the two materials, uh, uh, something will change and appear some barriers in, uh, for, for the holes and also for, uh, for, uh, for the electrons. And so um, these barriers uh, uh, are the first limits for the devices. And uh, so, uh, and, and when you apply also a potential to the device, uh, it uh, will be even uh, different situation and uh, also the, the barriers uh, will, uh, will be a little bit different and is, is uh, when you apply uh, forward or reverse uh, uh, um, potential, you will have a different effects and so the possibility for one charge or the other one to go, uh, uh, go over. The barrier. So, uh, and uh, also the temperature is very important. When we are at zero Kelvin, you, uh, there are no electrons that, that uh, charge that can go over the Fermi level. And so this level is very important to have an understanding also on the materials that we would like to use. There is another important issue that we have to to understand that is related to the, to the charge formation at the interfaces when you apply the, ma the metal at uh, uh, a, a material, you will have the formation of a different charges that could, uh, could be only charge transfer or mirror forces, uh, but also a, a, a very complicated arrangement of, a, of this kind of charges or some uh, chemical interaction that uh, uh, could be another barrier to overcome to for uh, for our uh, uh, to to uh, for the charges and so uh, some dipoles that uh, can appear or not for example memory effects when uh, you apply the, the voltage uh, and so uh, in general uh, we can say that uh, for organic materials uh, uh, 
um, as for inorganic one, we uh, we can define some regions in conductions, and uh, in particular, because of the defects of organic materials, we cannot uh, uh, skip from uh, a part that is related to the trap. Yeah, so uh, and so uh, uh, you have to overcome also this kind uh, of problems related to uh, the fact that uh, is not homogeneous uh, the, the the material and uh, uh, the and in in such materials uh, uh, the trap limited a lot uh, the the passage over the of uh, the charges. Uh, uh, another important issue is that uh, in the traps you will have uh, uh, an increase in the time permanence. So uh, uh, it's important this to, uh, uh, to have an understanding about the recombination zone that is uh, almost in between the two materials. Uh, and uh, if the whole have uh, a lot of traps, the recombination zone start to go uh, through the whole materials. And, and so, uh, it happened that, for example, for OLEDs, you will have a an, uh, an lower efficiency. So, and uh, this is uh, very important also in understanding how, for example, with the temperature, uh, it affects uh, uh, the, tra the traps and so also the recombination zone. Uh, for example, uh, in, uh, uh, to have an understanding uh, of these tools that I would like to, to show, um, is, um, for example, I will show something about the change in temperature, but you can apply it also uh, for, for different purposes. For example, for moisture to, to have an understanding of limits uh, or device in a different uh, uh, environment by, and in different uh, situations. Um, an important uh, limit for organic materials, of course, is the, the fact that uh, is not stable uh, the material uh, uh, in temperature and uh, there is the glass transition zone and so the possibility that uh, uh, all change in, inside the materials and, and so also the possibility to uh, transport uh, the, the charges will change and uh, in fact uh, if uh, 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 we will go in the transition uh, zone uh, the we will have a, a, a bigger effect in releasing the, the charges and so uh, and also the, the possibility to, to trap and the trap the, the charges. And the, the effect in this case is that we have a lot of uh, sites in, we, in, side, uh, in which we, we can have uh, the, the trap of the charges too. And so, uh, for example, if, uh, as I said before, the whole transporter start to have a problem, the recombination zone will change, we shift toward the, the, that one, and so we can, can't have the recombination uh, in uh, the emitter material, for example. Uh, and uh, change, um, this, uh, this issue is important to, uh, for example, uh, to, to see uh, what is uh, the power limits of the device. Now, when you go to high voltages and so high power, you will uh, you will uh, reach also high temperature and uh, at the end uh, if you uh, uh, reach uh, uh, the glass transition of course you will have uh, the failure electrical failure but uh, uh, the fact that uh, uh, they start to happen some defects especially on the border of the material you will have also other effects in this case you will see that uh, at lower voltages and so at uh, lower temperature with respect to glass transition of the material, you will have also, because this is related only to electro, uh, electrical uh, failure, uh, this curve instead. And, uh, and so uh, you, you see that, uh, that the, the optical failure, the electroluminescence will fail even before because uh, it's related to, uh, uh, to the age of the materials and so in the part uh, that is in between uh, the PN junction. And uh, this, is, this uh, you can see that change if you change also the thickness of materials. In, if the total thickness is lower, you, will, uh, uh, you can increase also the power because you can uh, extract easily uh, the temperature from the device, but temperature, it, uh, it is uh, the same because uh, of course, uh, the cathode will uh, uh, will be uh, used also to extract the temperature. So with, with the thinner device, you will uh, you can 
go also to higher power. Temperature, uh, as I said before, is the same, and you can see that the uh, optical failure will happen always before the electrical failure respect to the total power. And um, here we can see also that if we go at uh, high voltages, uh, of course, we cannot uh, say that uh, is a true fuller or dying tunneling because uh, is, it is not affected by temperature. But, but uh, for every temperature, we can say that uh, it can be followed this, this kind uh, of uh, a way in conducting uh, the current. And so uh, we can uh, try to have uh, uh, a barrier of this uh, model, uh, the B parameter, we can control how change in, uh, in temperature. And uh, if uh, it can give us uh, um, uh, some information uh, respect to the temperature. And uh, in fact, it seems that uh, when uh, the temperature uh, start to uh, be very close to the glass transition region, it start to, uh, to change the way in which uh, the device uh, will conduct. And uh, we saw that there is another region in which uh, the, the gate parameter uh, not change. And then there is a, a, the, the failure of the device after the TG region. And uh, this curve is almost similar to what we see with differential scanning uh, calorimetry. And if we instead we go at uh, precise uh, current, we can see that, uh, uh, first of all, we have the optical failure that is uh, almost in the beginning of uh, our uh, transition zone. And then we have uh, the uh, electrical failure uh, that we will see definitely only after uh, the, the, the TG and uh, at the end of the region. And uh, you can see that uh, it is described perfectly the, the differential scanning uh, calorimetry measurements. Uh, another important tool uh, is uh, the, um, the impedance measurements, because uh, we saw that uh, we can try to have an idea on what uh, it happened in the device, uh, changing the, the potential. But if, uh, uh, if we go to high potential, sometimes uh, it, was, it could be masked what uh, it happened in true, because uh, uh, you know, uh, there are uh, a lot of effects in the barriers uh, and uh, also at high voltages, you can have the fail uh, directly of the cathode before uh, that happen uh, transition zone for some materials if you have a, a, an IRTG. So, um, uh, and uh, in, uh, in this case, we can use, we can apply also uh, 100 uh, millivolt or uh, also um, lower voltages. So uh, we uh, we will not affect uh, the device uh, with uh, with other effects, and so uh, we can control only what happened changing the temperature. Uh, as you know, for with the uh, AC measurements, you can have idea about the resistance and uh, the part capacitance part of the of our, our device, in particular how uh, as uh, we said before, we, uh, the, the, the charges will trap or, uh, trap it or not. Uh, uh, of course, you can uh, realize uh, uh, the core pool plot uh, with uh, uh, the real part and uh, imaginary part, but uh, it's important to notice that uh, also if we go only to, to check the capacitance or uh, the conductance uh, part, uh, you will... Uh, um, you will uh, um, uh, instantaneously knows is if uh, there are some peculiarity in our device. For example, if we have deep levels and uh, deep traps, uh, we uh, uh, will see that there are some peaks in uh, the conductive uh, part and uh, uh, can cut off uh, frequency for, uh, in uh, the capacitance part. In fact, uh, if, for example, we uh, uh, apply an all injection layer, uh, we will see that, that uh, uh, there is another uh, uh, structure in between uh, in, in, in our device. And so we uh, an, um, uh, an, um, uh, another barrier that uh, uh, it uh, can be shown by the, for example, the capacitance. And so the first cutoff and second cutoff because of, 
of the one the the, the, the true pn junction no? and so uh, and uh, with the, the whole injection layer we you will have a, another uh, level uh, of, of a trapsin that uh, is related to the other interface in between the oil injection uh, and uh, the own transport. No? And so uh, in, the, in this way, you uh, will have an understanding uh, also on uh, before to apply the voltage and see if uh, it works or not, uh, some ideas on, on uh, how the device will work. And uh, it's, uh, it's nice to see also that, uh, of course, if you change the, the voltage, uh, it will change everything, as, uh, as we said before. But uh, for the moment, uh, we will analyze only, uh, we are analyzing only the fact that uh, at high and low frequency, uh, we, uh, we will have uh, uh, something to see in our device. And uh, in particular, as uh, we saw before, at low frequency, it appeared uh, this peak and the high frequency, this, this are. Um, coming back to a PN junction, a simply PN junction that is uh, in uh, the, the last device, uh, we see that uh, changing the temperature, uh, we see that there, <laughs> we cannot see nothing about uh, what happened. But uh, if we analyze, uh, uh, the uh, only one layer device, for example, the ultra sport one, we see that uh, at different uh, temperature, the conductance will change a lot. And only at the end, we will see something about the capacitance. So we have to also to choose what we would like to, to, see, uh, to see and uh, at which frequency, because at high frequency, you cannot see nothing even at, in this case. Instead, uh, uh, with uh, the other device, you will see only that is the acti an activation of the chargers, but uh, not failure as, uh, as the old transport. In this case, uh, instead, uh, uh, we can see the real part of uh, the impedance and, uh, and uh, how change uh, with the frequency and the temperature too. We see that uh, the old transporter only device, uh, uh, the it, it, the, the change is very big with uh, the other one, uh, the F, because it's, uh, it uh, is affected by the temperature and so the, uh, the glass transition instead, the other one no. And uh, also the device masked uh, in a good way these effects. Uh, uh, controlling all, only the ultra transporter changing uh, in a in more precise way the temperature, we see a, a, a big difference uh, when we pass through the glass transition region. Uh, and uh, if we analyze uh, in uh, using uh, uh, universal dielectrical response model, the, our material, we and, uh, and uh, with uh, analyzing in particular this parameter the, of this formula, we can see that uh, our material uh, uh, will fail only at the, the end of our uh, uh, of, uh, of the glass transition region, as we saw at the beginning, that is uh, always over the 340 uh, degree uh, uh, Kelvin. And, and so, um, the, another important and uh, and the capacitance, uh, the conductance show this. Uh, because uh, it uh, go over more than one um, uh, order of magnitude. The capacitance have some problems, but uh, not uh, uh, in the same way. If uh, now we will analyze, uh, uh, we will change the, 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 our, our plot in the conductance versus temperature and capacitance versus temperature, we see that there is a, a, a sort of a switch on process like uh, the one that was uh, that we observed uh, with the scanning carolimetry. In fact, uh, if uh, uh, after we uh, combine the two things and we put the capacitance um, uh, and, the and, and uh, divide it by the conductance, we will have uh, the RC uh, uh, plot and so uh, versus temperature, we will see that appear uh, another temperature in which uh, the device will change completely the way to uh, uh, to to control the, its charge. And so uh, there is another temperature in which uh, we have to pay attention. And this temperature is is the one that uh, uh, before we already analyzed and uh, we saw that. Uh, 
uh, with uh, the, the B parameter before and also the optical failure. So we don't have to destroy the device to, uh, to have an understand about uh, at what temperature uh, uh, at the end uh, it will fail. And uh, we can uh, understand uh, where, uh, where is the limit. And, uh, and what is the glass transition region also with the impedance spectroscopy. So uh, in conclusion, uh, with this uh, talk, I tried to give you uh, some ideas uh, on uh, how you can use the DC and AC measurements uh, to highlight uh, the device parameter and also the limits of the, of the device. In this case, it was temperature, but uh, you can do uh, in, um, in all, uh, in all the way, in, in all uh, the, 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 the situations uh, related uh, uh, to the ambient uh, or, the, for example, the stretching of the device if it's on flexible uh, substrates. Okay, thanks a lot.